so the Bugatti Veyron for example um, and I think maybe even um, some Rolls Royce they have a power meter in the car and this is basically just a uh, glorified vacuum boost gauge and it's just the, like the percentage power is just where you're at between um, vacuum and uh, maximum boost pressure so it's just giving you the percentage of where you are on that scale I don't think uh, Rolls Royce would put anything as um, anything as crass as a boost gauge inside their car so they put a uh, power meter instead absolutely got a Yaris in front oh sorry Suzuki Swift absolutely clueless three mistakes he's made there let's just go overtake on this side so you can see the person I'm talking about first of all they didn't keep up with the traffic in front of them so they had to rush through the traffic lights two when they rushed through the traffic lights they cut off the uh, Fabi that's in front of us because they went from the right lane to the left lane to hit their apex yeah so generally I just like having the the gauge in the car I mean it's you know it's first of all just to keep tabs on the air filter um, second of all I just want to see you know check that the the vacuum is where it should be and that's helped me out a couple of times when there's been a stalling issue but I've been able to look at the, the vacuum gauge and I can see that it's not pulling as much vacuum as it had been doing so it gave me the thing to start looking for uh, vacuum leaks and plus it's quite you know it's an active gauge it's going up and down all the time um, and you know you can also see basically how, how much of the available power you're using at the um, at a specific time which is nice so you have the standard intake with a standard air filter and you have the uh, vacuum gauge if you're getting um, the needle goes to the same point on the um, on the gauge at maximum throttle full RPM as it does with the engine off then there's no reason for you to fit a um, intake to your car or a performance filter to your car because there's no there's no way a, uh, a filter and any aftermarket intake system or any aftermarket air filter is going to give you positive pressure in your intake manifold it's just not gonna happen. maybe um, if you have a um, like a some sort of ram air uh, intake going on but even then I think that the the pressure that that gives you is going to be the extra pressure it gives you in the intake system will be so small I'm not sure if you could even um, notice the difference at least on a gauge with a needle on a digital gauge it might be a different story but if you have um, but if you notice that the amount of that the needle at wide open throttle full RPM is not um, in the same position as it is uh, when the engine is off uh, then that tells you that there is a restriction in the engine um, in the intake system and then that is something that you can explore and the vacuum gauge will give you instant feedback um, on any modification that you make to the intake system and then you can work your way through all the different modifications that you can make to an intake system so for example on this car we could uh, remove the the stock air filter and then we could just leave the box empty just for um, experimentation purposes just to see what the difference is between filter and no filter um, we could try uh, maybe different brands of paper filter we could try um, a free-flowing panel filter uh, from K&N for example you know and, and compare everything back to back we could uh, replace the factory air box altogether 
um, and put a comb filter on there. We could put a, just a normal uh, like a foam filter that does not have a Venturi neck. <coughs> and we could compare that to a filter that does have a Venturi neck. We could replace the intake piping. So this has got uh, resonators in the uh, intake system. Again, just something to make the engine more quiet. We could, well, first of all, we could plug the resonators that are in the intake system and see what difference that makes. We could completely replace the uh, rubber hoses and put um, aluminium, uh, or, you know, aluminium or rigid plastic hoses in there. See if that makes a difference. You can uh, enlarge the throttle body if you think that is a um, if that is a restriction. Basically, any change that you make to the intake system, you can measure the difference for free with a vacuum gauge. You don't need to go to a rolling roll to see if a change that you've made to the intake system has made any difference um, to the power of the car a vacuum gauge will do that for you just as accurately maybe even more accurately it's a very simple equation more air equals more power but yeah basically a vacuum gauge a very very useful um, gauge to have in a definitely normally aspirated car so just to recap again I know I repeat myself a lot in these videos but it is what it is um, first of all uh, the vacuum gauge tells you the health of your engine um, second of all it can um, tells you how what proportion of the available power you're using at a particular time three it tells you if your intake system has got uh, some sort of restriction in it and four it allows you to compare uh, modifications to your intake system i.e different filters different types of filters i.e going from a panel filter to a cone filter uh, fitting a cold air intake uh, fitting a uh, short ram intake uh, you know any modification that you you make to your intake system a vacuum gauge will be able to will allow you to identify if it's improved the efficiency of the engine or if it's reduced it and that's it for four main things that a vacuum gauge does so that's the video sorry for going on as usual if you like the video or if you don't like it please vote on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching